welcome back to the channel. Today I am detailing a 2018 Audi Q5. It's an S line. It will be receiving our silver package. What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we got this 2016 Audi Q5. I'm gonna be doing the interior. So right now I just got everything still in here. I'm gonna start pulling this stuff out. Um, I'm gonna start with the interior today because it's uh, raining right now. Drizzling a little bit, so I'd rather start on the inside. So as you can tell, got our work cut out. We got the mats over here. So we move around. The outside's not too bad, we got my sink cleaner going over here. Just to start pulling all this stuff out, get it all going, like I said. And we'll see. Uh, usually I do not start with the interiors, if I'm gonna do the outside also. But today this, I think, is what makes more sense. Because this needs a little this. bit more work. So, this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys in a second. I'll get some footage of me actually cleaning. All right, so I just picked everything up. I'm actually gonna leave this plugged in, put everything in the trunk, like the papers and stuff. So this is the preliminary. Um, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna blow all this stuff out up to the front seats, all the crevices and stuff, and then come back with my steam and work efficiently that way. So that way we can get this interior done in an hour, hour and a half. So it's just coming along, steamer's almost ready. Um, that's why I like to get the steamer plugged in and then start doing everything because that takes the longest to warm up it Takes about 10 minutes. So Just get you set and we'll be good to go. So that's the first round. So air steam and then Whatever you need to hit with like um, the interior or all-purpose cleaners and then we'll seal the seats They'll look good um, And I'm gonna leave like this plugged in because this is part of his dash cam. So like I still got some stuff down there, but I'll get that with the air in a second. So, all right, so this is why I blow it up. So this way I got all the stuff out so far and I blew it to the front. So I'll show you over there. That's all the stuff that's underneath the seat. So I like to blow it. Still got some like loose debris down here and stuff. Um, but I blew out behind this seat. I pulled it forward. Um, that's why I like to blow before I vac because you're gonna just start repeating processes on top of each other. Same thing on this other side. Got some stuff. What I'm gonna go back do pick up all this stuff. Um, vacuum, steam, then vacuum. Because again, I'm gonna throw some dirt around. So I like to do that last. But as you can see, all this stuff was up underneath the seat. So without blowing, you're not gonna get all that stuff. So that's why I like to blow first. It makes a mess, but it's actually faster at the end of the day. All right, so it's coming along. So I blew everything out, steamed it. Uh, I still got the passenger side to do, but it's all coming along really well. Um, again, this is why um, you got a little bit to touch up and vacuum. But this is why I want to do it this way, because I'll show you that front side. So three-fourths of it's basically like 80% done. Uh, same thing on this side, but this is uh, the difference, right? And that's what we're starting with. See all that? And then we got over there. So that's why I like to do it this way. I like to work, I like to work this way around the car and then I'll do the trunk last. So it's coming along, so it's looking good. I'm excited with it. See, I still gotta get in there, but it's coming along. All right, so I'm about to put everything back, but it turned out good back here too. So I'm about to put the mat down. I have everything just in the bag, it's over there. It came out really good, so I'm liking it. Um, I think I like the idea of starting on the inside and then doing the outside on this one today. Because it did drizzle a little bit. So we're going to uh, go on to the outside now. Start with the wheels. Uh, I'm going to use a, probably a wheel acid on this one. Just from what they're looking like. Because they're heavy amount of brake dust. As you can see. Um, then foam it. Then rinse it. Then foam it again. And we'll go from there. But it should come along pretty good. Um, just pretty basic on the outside. Just get it cleaned up. Caliper down there as you can tell. So, it'll come out good. Um, if it comes out like the inside, it'll be good. So, and then I'll do the jams, the windows, and all that stuff. 
last. It's all finished up. Wheels looking good. Perfectly clean. Outside looks good. Turned out well. So, came out good. There's some uh, pitting up on the wheels, but overall they turned out really good. Let's get that shine again, so it looks good. And I'm glad I did it this way, where I did the outside last and the inside first. Because I got rid of all the sprinkles. I came through and I touched this up in here. Opened the hood. These wheels too, looking good. So it came out well. Girls looking good. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.